Stop recording. Selected screen recording button. Safari back slash visited. So maybe you've just purchased Logos Babel software and you found your inner linears. <laughs> and maybe you want to change your inner linear from your default Bible. Well, on the phone, you can't do that. On the web app, you can. Now, I'm using limited view mode. And I'm also using voiceover. So you're going to hear voiceover looping uh, a little bit. Link. I apologize uh, ahead of time. There's not much I can do about that. I'll even turn down voiceover. Profile photo slash visited link pro slash visit. there. It's turned way down. Hopefully this will help the loop back. So anyway, today we want to change our inner linear. So to first pull up our inner linear, we're going to go to guides. Profile, profile, select, select, select to guides, docs, guides, visited, link, text field, open guide, Bible, exegetical guide, visited, link, text field. Exegetical yeah. guide. Now we're just going to go to John 3.16. Why not? Words. Braille screen input J. La o. H. N. Number 3. C. C. 1. 6. Portrait. Button. Text field. Button. Button. Text field. John 3. 6. Insertion point. John 3. 16. Now you may have noticed that I had to go back into the search box uh, and then click on John 316. It does that. You, you'll be able to also click on like other parts of the chapter, say like John uh, chapter 3 verses 1 through say 18. It'll let you run whole passages that way. Um, so it's really nice. You know, you can use that like as a reference point. You can do a whole study, you know, on a passage. But uh, we just want to focus on one verse. Uh, and by the way, this this works within like you can run whole chapters and do the do this whole same thing um, this way. John, word by word. Now, right now, we're in the Lexham English Bible interlinear, and we just want to change this just for this video to the. Let's say New Living Translation. So we're going to tap on the button. The English Greek Reverse Interlinear New Testament Lexham English Bible. It says the English Greek Interlinear Lexham English Bible. So we're going to tap that. The English Greek Reverse Interlinear New Testament Lexham English voiceover Bible. Voiceover Jump Command, which is a four finger high keyboard. Get rid of that. High keyboard. The text field. John 3. The Latin Greek Reverse Interlinear. Four finger single tap on the bottom of your screen. Now I said we want to go to the New Living Translation Interlinear. Versus anti re the English neighbor and the English H C the English nib and the English R S the English the English the English anti the English N R S V the English N I V two the English C S V and the English S anti re the Avenue eighteen set the N A S V nine the N L T anti the English N L T anti re unpronounceable Greek small letter alpha with silly. Now we're in our new living translation interlinear. Now what's nice about this, having the ability to do this, is you'll be able to look at the Greek behind whichever translation you like. Um, if you're looking at Old Testament, if you have the Lexham English Septuagint, you can look at the Greek behind the Septuagint translation. Uh, if you have, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, um, you can have a Greek and Hebrew interlinear in one screen. So it, it's nice if you want to look at the, the languages. I also have a Latin in here. I have a Latin Vulgate. Um, I think that's access only at this time, um, just because it's not put in my library at this time. Um, I may remedy that one of these days. Um, and that's one other thing I want to point out. With their interlinears, you will have access to Bibles you do not necessarily own in your account at the time. Uh, for example, I have the Holman Christian Standard Bible. I do not own the Holman Christian Standard Bible, but I have access to the Holman. Um, I own the CSB. Um, so I have the CSB. Now one real quick thing before I finish this little video is you will have Bibles, for example, if you have the CJB, the Complete Jewish Bible. You will not see, if you have the Complete Jewish Bible, an interlinear for that Bible. The interlinears from Logos are hand-made. Unpronounceable. Right. You have people who will hand tag these particular verses. They will make these by hand. The guy who made, for example, the King James Interlinear. There's a video somewhere floating around 
where he talked about, he went in and he hand tagged every single one of the words in the, in the King James uh, for your interlinears. So I, I think that's the same process. So, you know, you're paying a little extra, you know, in some places you might be able to, for example, get like a Holman for like, you know, five bucks. Logos is asking $9.95 because of the added tagging, the added linking. So you may have a little extra pricing going on uh, with the logo software, but I think ultimately it's going to be worth it. So that's how to switch your interlinear on the web. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Control center. Airplane mode. Switch airdrop. Open controls. Selected. Screen.